So I did a APRS video on the FT3 last week and someone commented and they asked, well, what about the X button? So I said, yeah, let's talk about that. So this video, we're gonna talk about the wires X button on the FT3D, what it does, how to set it up and some cool little tips and tricks to get it working the right way. So before we get into that, we're gonna need to know a few things. I'm gonna need to know what wires X. Wires X, which I'm gonna read off the screen here, is the Wide Coverage Internet Repeater Enhancement System. What does that mean? So wires X is just a word to uh, describe the system that Yesu has in place for linking repeaters that are nodes to set up and connect to one another. So if you're familiar with IRLP nodes or uh, DSTAR, you might think of it like the same thing. So basically you have all of these repeaters that are connected to a node, which are connected to other nodes. I know, sounds really confusing, let's try to break this down. Each repeater that is set up on the WiresX network has its own room or node, okay? So anytime someone accesses that repeater, what they're talking through is that repeater's node. So not only does it act as a repeater, but any other repeater node connected to that node will also hear what individuals are saying. It's kind of like chat rooms, kind of like yeah, uh, if you remember back in the day, AOL or uh, Yahoo chat rooms. People connect to them and they're able to talk with each other. Think of those chat rooms kind of like nodes and each repeater gets its own node. And the repeater owner or the individuals connected to the repeater can choose to change that node and connect that node to another node, which will mean that not only will you hear all the voices in the node that you're connected to initially, but also the node that your node is connecting to. I know it sounds like a lot of information, and that was a rough description of it, but that should be the basic knowledge of what you need to get into what it is on the FT3D and what it does. You also need to know that C4FM is a modulation that is typically used with Yesu System Fusion. So, with that out of the way, Let's go ahead and look at a radio and see what we can figure out about this. So here we have the FT3D. I'm gonna go ahead and just power it on. And the first thing that you're gonna do when you start trying to use wires X is you wanna have a node or repeater or a hotspot connect to. So without going into grave detail, I already have a hotspot here at 431.075, right? You wanna make sure that you get that repeater programmed into your radio and you program it pretty much as just other any other repeater and Yesu actually has a list of all of the wires X enabled repeaters in their locations on their website which I'll link below and show here real quickly on the screen but you need to know how to program repeaters into your radio make sure you get the wires X repeater in here so the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to open up our menu so if you hold in display, it'll open up the Yesu FT3D menu and we're gonna hit wires X and we're just gonna go through this configuration just so you guys can see uh, what it is that's here and what it does. So this right here is just as is, it's the repeater wires X frequency. I've got mine set to manual. That means I just take whatever repeater frequency that uh, should be uh, set to around my area and I just plug it in. But there are other options here for preset um, frequencies. Search setup, uh, whenever you connect to Wires X node, you can actually search for other rooms through your radio. This right here will have it set up to search by activity or by history. Once you're connected to a Wires X node, you can also actually add a room onto your favorites, <clears throat> and this is the system for that. So uh, you can actually edit the tags for those uh, channels pretty much. Like these are pretty much small memory banks. You open it up, and it will show a list of nodes that you have stored in that bank. Pretty much remove uh, room or node. This is the same thing except in reverse. It will actually remove whatever node that you put in there. In your digital ID, this is an advanced feature that you shouldn't need to touch. I will leave it on auto unless uh, you're setting up your own node or repeater or something like that and you know what you're doing here. So I'm gonna hit back and uh, so let's talk about this. We are in main channel mode and I'm currently 
on the channel that I have set for my Wires X repeater. So you see here at the top right you see DN. That stands for digital and that's the mode that we need to be in to connect to a Wires X node. If you hit mode you'll cycle between those. VW you can actually talk over Wires X with VW but it's not as clear audio as the DN. You also can't issue commands with it. FN is just basically frequency modulation, what you usually talk with. DN with a line means that it's going to automatically change the mode depending on the received signal. For this case, we definitely want DN, and I'm using a hotspot, and, but it's the same premise. Whenever you have your repeater frequency set in and your modes uh, on DN for digital, as long as you're within range of that repeater, you'll hit the X button and it's going to ping the repeater. You saw a transmission and then I received the signal and now I'm connected. And that happened really quick. So you hit the X button, it'll send a ping to the node of the frequency and say, hey this is me, I want to connect to your node. And then the node or repeater will actually send information back saying, alright you're connected and here's the information. And so you'll see a few things on the screen here, uh, which I'll show on the manual exactly what they mean as well. But starting from the bottom, this is the current room you're connected to. I'm in a parrot room. That's what I have my hotspot set to. And basically what the parrot room does is it's a node. Whenever I talk into my radio, it will repeat exactly back as I say. And this is to kind of check my audio quality before I get on the network. The next thing is you're going to have search and dir uh, directory. So if I tap on that, I have my memory banks where I can see what channels I have stored. I can hit search and direct or I can hit all. If I hit all, it's going to ping that radio, it's going to send me a signal back, and it's going to list uh, a whole bunch of random wires X rooms. Um, most of this is from my hotspot, it might differ for your repeater. Uh, but you can also, if, say if I want to connect to one of these, if I wanted to connect to CQ UK Wires X, I would just tap on it. It would send that transmission and then I would receive the information telling my hotspot that I am connected. So once you do connect to a node, you have a few options here and not most... I, I, I see that most repeaters have this option disabled, but there are some few uh, pieces of data you can download from the repeater or the node such as a new station, if I hit, um, oops, if I hit display on the news, or if I tap the new station and I go to download, most oftentimes um, I don't get any information when I do this. But you can try it. Some nodes have uh, little pictures and uh, news clips and text and things like that that you can get into and, and check out, but I haven't been able to find a node that has that uh, information there available. So from this screen, you can also hit the add button and you can, remember those memory banks we were talking about earlier? You can actually add it. So you would select what memory bank you want to go to and then hit the push, push the talk button and it would add it onto the repeater. So what I'm going to do is I am going to connect back to the parrot station Actually, we'll do a um, we'll do a radio check in Wires X in American Link, which is a very popular Yesu System Fusion node. So I have it in my favorites, and I'll just tap on it here, and I should be connected to the node. Odds are there might be a QSO going on now, and there's not. So you see at the bottom here, I have American Link. Um, normally, at the top here, you're going to have the city that you're connected to. If you're connected to the repeater, usually that will detail the city that you're currently connected to. There's a few details up here that explain exactly what's going on with the wires X and if you've noticed, if you've not noticed yet, in this mode you can't change frequencies anymore or any of that. The, the radio pretty much, uh, once you're connected to a wires X room, uh, it locks up. And we'll talk about how to get out of that and how to disconnect from a node too. If you ever connect to a wires X network and you notice that this bottom part down here is missing, that means that repeater is actually unable to connect to the internet uh, to establish linking to other stations. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, try to make a contact. 
Now with wires X and C4FM, your call sign is automatically transmitted over the network and your GPS location. So other stations, it makes it a little easier for them to see who you are. Even if you don't state your call sign, which you should due to amateur radio regulations, they will still be able to see it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to see if I can get somebody on the radio. Game 4 MKB. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you. Uh, I was just trying to get a quick uh, radio check in there. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, yeah, you're sounding good. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, it's clean on this end. Uh, back you. So that was a pretty much a um, contact, and I'll show you really quick that Parrot station. So if I go to search and redirect, and I hit search, and I type in Parrot, it's going to come back and tell me a list of stations that match that that name. And so I'm just going to tap on the first one here, and it's going to connect. And this right here is a good way to test your audio quality. So I'm going to say. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo test, test. Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo test, test. And it should parrot that back to me here. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo test, test. Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo test, test. And that pretty much sums up uh, Akuso. And um, you'll notice here also the call sign of the station calling or talking is actually transmitted up here. So you can see that as well. And you should have seen that with the QSO that I was having before. So once you're done with Wires X, it is good practice. Uh, if you've changed the rooms or nodes that a repeater is connected to, sometimes a repeater owner uh, likes it connected to a specific room. So it is good practice to change back to that other room. Uh, and you can do that by hitting the search and redirect button of finding it. Or uh, sometimes a repeater, if it's not connected to a room, will automatically reestablish uh, connection to its basic room. So let's talk about disconnecting from a node. So on the FT3D, if you hold in the band button, actually let's let's check this out first. If you hold in the VM, if you tap the VM button, it's going to go back to this screen here. You still can't change frequencies um, at all, but you you can come back to this screen here. Now if I hit the VM button again, it's going to bring me back to the wires X screen, and to disconnect, uh, what's going to happen here is I'm going to hold in the band button. And you'll notice that my radio transmits and then receives the signal and then it says not connected. So what happened was I hold on the band button, it sends a ping to the repeater saying disconnect from my current room. And then the repeater comes back and says alright you're disconnected as long as everything went well. And now you're no longer connected to a room. If you see this blinking it means that the repeater is not connected or the node's not connected to a room, another node, and you can just tap on that and it will uh, connect to it. If you want to get out of Wires X, all you have to do is hold in the X button and it will take you back to how you were before and you're able to actually uh, use your radio. So that pretty much sums up Wires X on the FT3D. Pretty much covered everything you need to know to get started with it and start connected to room. But if you do have any questions, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I know it was a little lengthy, but I do try to cover all the aspects of uh, the particular function that I'm trying to talk about. That way people are watching, they understand exactly what they need to know to get started and get up and running. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do have any more questions about WiresX, post them below and I will try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. 73.